Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here, and this is our permadeath playthrough. And you're probably wondering to yourself, wait a second, you finished on the last... You finished it, Saul, didn't you? I mean, last Wednesday, you were done. This is the epilogue episodes. There's a couple things that we needed to do that we haven't done just yet. Now, these are not things that are part of the objectives here. Like, for instance, the base computer archives, we've pretty much completed those out. The exploration guide is something else entirely. It has to do with whatever planet you're on. We've already got new beginnings, so we're doing everything. We still have now the new Atlas Eternal to do, the settlements, and one more thing. The last thing is going to be freighters now not necessarily acquiring a freighter as you know i mean i could try to pull in a freighter right now but i don't own one so it is what it is i don't have one right now but we do need to do two things in regards to freighters one we're going to get ourselves into a freighter battle uh, i'd like to see if i can get a dreadnought i don't know if i can i know my ship is strong enough to do it we're going to check that out real quick now i'm thinking about it what a beautiful planet this is right Really have found ourselves a gorgeous place to, to, to set up base on. I couldn't agree with a more fantastic. I mean, you got green grass, wonderful skies, beautiful stars. You got planets in the sky. Oh, that is so pretty. Anyway, what a beautiful, beautiful place to be on. So we're going to go head over here to our ship. And let's jump in real quick. As you know, it's not really a high-class ship. It is a B-class. But we do have some good output on this peak damage, and we've got some really decent shields on it, thank heavens. So we should be in good shape to take out anything we need to. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to worry our work, I should say, on doing that. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up. It looks like we got some uh, exosuit fragments we can add in here. We should have room now. Barely enough room for this stuff. Yeah, thinking about it. What was this one? Shield strength and core health. Yeah, pretty much the same thing. There. I think that is a better arrangement for things. Sorry, had to pause for a second there and think about it. So we have enough room in our inventory to get some things done. So let's go ahead and take off. Now, one thing we don't have in our inventory, I believe... Let me just check here... No, we do not. We don't have a derelict ship finder. I don't see one. Okay, so let's go ahead and take off. I seem to have a, a Hylian, Hylian brain in there. Hylian? Is that word? No, that's not the right word. Harmonic brain. We have a harmonic brain. Hylian is from, you know, Hylia. And I'm sure zelda or link are missing something so sorry uh, copyright stuff there i apologize um let's go ahead and go to i think we need to go to the space station so let's head there and we do need to get into a space battle first so we're going to do a space battle we're going to look for a pirate system and we're going to do that first and then if we survive it we are going to see if I can't get a Dreadnought, of course. And we're going to see if we can get into a freighter and actually one of those derelict freighters and actually do a little uh, uh, bouncing around in there and check things out. So there'll be just kind of, kind of a double whammy episode here. No matter what Dreadnought or freighter we end up with is what we're going to stick with, by the way. So That was not someone screaming in the background. That was a fan turning on. I apologize. I'm going to have to turn that thing off sooner or later. Uh, let's see. So we want to acquire coordinates. Okay, so we now have an emergency signal scanner. Now, we could have got one for free from the anomaly. I know that. But now we have one in our inventory. We can use it anytime we want. And we'll be using that later. Now, we're going to hold on to that for the time being. And what we're going to do is go out into the galaxy and take a look around. But we need to find ourselves a pirate system, right? So we need to open that up. We're going to take a look. Now, we don't have a conflict scanner because we've never gotten a, a brain. But we should see whether these systems are pirate systems or not. So let's take a look around. I'm going to try to go for decent systems, like something like that. It would be great. If it was. We have Dissonant. 
And you, what you're looking for is a little pirate symbol indicating it's a pirate system here. So let's keep taking a look around. And I think we're due to have a nice battle. It's just unfortunate that we didn't get one during our run, because that would have made the run more interesting to the center. But wait. No, that's just trading. Engineering, Corvax, manufacturing, material, or or what? We're processing. Let's go to some of these systems up here. Wow, I've never had such trouble finding one. Got a lot of dissonant systems. That's good. We do need those. Oh, two pirate systems. We got one here. It's an F6 and one here, which is an F7. Hmm, Gek. Corvax. Scientific systems would be better. There's only a two-planet system here. Let's go ahead and check it out, shall we? And let's see if we get ourselves into a battle. Remember, we're in permadeath mode, so we've got to be careful. We could lose and lose the entire save. And I swear, i got to get the coordinates for that planet, too, well, one of these days. All right, so nothing here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and forth between this system and that other one. Uh, before we do, hold on. We need to land at the space station and get a save point. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to divert power to engines so we can get there just a little bit quicker. Alright, here we go. Outlaw Station. Get a lot of decent materials from here. Black market stuff, of course, but still good stuff. Okay, I'm going to hop out. That gives us a restore point. And we're going to hop back in. So in case we go to the next system where we can get a Dreadnought, we can go back and forth. So the other system should be nearby. Let's see. It was right over here, I think. It was a Corvax system. Uh, here? Nope. And it was Corvax. I remember that part. Let's see. Up here? Nope. Corvax over there. A lot of dissonant systems, like I said, very neat that there's that many. Okay, we somehow have misplaced it. <laughs> misplaced it. There it is. It's another Gex system. Take a look. Also two planet system. Isn't that weird? Alright, so this is an F2 system. Let's check it out anyway. Maybe going back and forth will make the difference. Because every fifth jump or so, is you should get a freighter battle. Even in, 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 pardon me, even in the Eisentim galaxy, you should get this. Nope, nothing here. Okay, so let's go to the space station. Again, we'll do the same thing. We'll land, and it gives us a save point. And you always have to do this. Every time you jump, you have to divert your uh, power to your engines if you wish to do that and go a little quicker. Love that sound. Always love that. I think that's always a cool sound. Reminds me of Transformers. I think that's what it is. Okay. Out. Restore point saved. Back in. Off we go. We're going to go to the next... We're going to go back to the system we were just at. And we'll just go back and forth between these two pirate systems now. And I think that's it right there. There it is. And one of these systems should pop up with a freighter battle. Let's see what happens here. Oop. That was something. I don't know what that was, but not what we're looking for, it looks like. All right. 
Now, we do have to stop at the space station every time, unfortunately. Because you need that save point every time. So that's the second, uh, what, third jump, actually. One jump to the system, one jump out to the other system, and one jump into this one. But we've had three jumps so far. Let's see what happens. Okay, and we'll go back. Pull back just a little bit because I'll be able to find it better this way. No, not you. Not you. You. There we go. Old solar ship that was coming in for a landing while we were <clears throat> going through hyperspace. Okay. So far, nothing. This is the fourth jump. You notice we don't have a Star Runner, by the way. We have yet to put that into our permadeath save. We will if we survive. And I'm probably going to hang on to this permadeath save just because that of wonderful, wonderful planet we found in the Eisentum galaxy. I'm really happy with it. Okay, restore point done. Off we go again. This should be the fifth jump. Now, again, it's supposed to happen this way. And let's see what happens. This should be it. Lately, the freighter battles have not been popping for me like usual, so... What we might try to do after this is jump into a different system. Still nothing. Alright, so I'm going to jump to a different system real quick. We're not going to go to the space station. And look at that. Happens to be the Viking one. Usually, if you have conflict scanner in there, you look for something that says, At War. Because that's really what we need. And you know, I really need a brain... Not me, no. I need a uh, walker brain in order to get that conflict scanner going. So maybe we should be doing that if this doesn't work. Yeah, that's just not working. Let's head to the space station, see if they have a mission for us so we can get a walker brain. Otherwise, wow, that is just really far away. Why does it take me out so far? Okay, there we go. And what we'll do is we'll take a look, and if not, we'll go fight some sentinels and have a little fun. See if we can survive a sentinel battle and a two-legged walker. Is my multi-tool up to the task? Should be. 8,000 damage with it. Though the runic lens is probably better. Alright. Well, let's go check the mission board and see if they have a walker brain for us so we can look for something someplace that's at war right now. No walker brains. Blood salt on three of the five of these. Some banned weapons. And I doubt they're going to have one in their inventory. Nope. Nothing in here either. Okay. Let's try... Interesting looking ship. Let's try the anomaly. Because sometimes they hand out rewards for... That kind of stuff, too. So this is going to be um, training, learning curve on this. So this is something you're learning at the same time I am, unfortunately. But yet, it, it's fortunately, too. Because why is this a good thing that I'm showing you mistakes or showing you the, the problems I'm running into? Is because that's how we learn. These are the things we learn from. So while you could sit there and criticize and say, ah, you should have done it this way. Well, I'm learning how to do it that way now, aren't I? I've been playing the game for four and a half years. And while, yes, you could indeed say, shame on me, I should know this, or shame on me, I should know that. Maybe 
it's a good idea to understand that I have still stuff for me to learn too. And that's the whole fun of this game, is enjoying that there's other things that we can learn along the way. So it doesn't look like any of these. All of these are giving out uh, uh, units instead of something else. Launch fuel, defense chit, salvage frigate module. That's great. You can get living glass out of this one, which is the uh, weekend mission if you want to do that, plus 1800 Quicksilver. So that would be great. So we're going to hold off on that. So the way we're going to have to do this then is we're going to need to find sentinels. And how do we do that? Sentinel boundary map. So let's go find some. Let's pick a fight, shall we? So the first thing I'm going to do, I am in a pirate system right now. I'm going to go to the other pirate system since it's a higher class pirate system, if you will. And we will fight them there. So we go to this one. It says pirate controlled, but... Again, we don't have a conflict scanner, so as much as it says that because we've been there before, what I'm looking for is to be able to check out the system to see what's going on. Got something weird popping up on my screen. Hang on a second here. There we go. Okay. All right. Again, no freighter battle, but what we're going to do is we're going to do a scan right from here. And it's going to be on our starship over here. So that's where we're headed. Let's go pick a fight, shall we? So here we are 16 minutes into this, and you're about to see me in permadeath mode picking a fight with sentinels at a sentinel pillar. And I haven't scanned this planet yet. Let me check it out. What is kind of planet are we looking at? Chromatic fog, copper dioxide, and silver. So this should be okay, though there is a possibility we will have some storms. It won't be severe, as severe as it could be. There we go. And you notice there's no pulse lines. I got rid of that with a mod. You'll have to excuse that. Ew, mountains. But what a nice little venue. Look at that. That's actually pretty cool. Let's go up on the hill over here, and we'll park our ship up there. Wow, that is pretty cool. All right. And let's see. Okay. Hi, Worm. Uh, let's see. Boatcaster, runic lens, three manipulator. Stick with the boatcaster. Looks like we got plenty of ammunition for this. Let's have some fun. We're going to have a tough time of this. I just want to let you know in advance. What's our mediums? You got combat scope, runic lens, combat scope. Oh, okay. That's cool. All right. Let's do it. Okay, there's another one. I want to get to level two. I can't hit him because he's right underneath me. Go over here. Nice. Yeah, I'm kind of holding still because I'm not really too worried about these guys yet. And we do want to pick up all the barrels. Because they're useful.
Sorry, the creature was about to attack. We're going to be kind of quiet in this episode because of the fact... ...that we have these guys to contend with, so it's going to be kind of quiet on the talking side of things. Alright. Let's go over here and grab this. I want to make sure we grab all the barrels here. Now, we haven't had a quad yet, which is really odd. But we're only at level 3 now, so... We want the two-legged walker, so we're going to have to take out these quad, these triangle call-in units. Oh, getting hit by a laser. Now i got to find him. Oh, there he is. Just wait till he hits me. We do have to be careful of these guys because they can damage me pretty bad. Oh, get behind the... There we go. And unfortunately, the, the healing units can heal those guys pretty quickly. There we go. There we go. Get our shields back up to full. Now we're in good shape. There we go. All right. Grab our barrel. Okay. Who's next? This should be level 5. No, it isn't. There we go. Now we can take out our walker. Don't get too close. They have the flame units on them. And the flames will do a lot quicker damage than anything else. Okay. So, so far so good. We're doing really good here. Now we get the two-legged walker. If we have to, we're going to go up there to protect ourselves. Actually, you know what? That sounds like a brilliant idea. We're going to go up. This will get us out of harm's way. Yep, and there he is. Gotta find the other guy. Because I need the other two-legged walker. There he is. That doesn't surprise me. Oh, there is a healing unit there. Thought we got rid of all them, but I think we might have another triangle unit floating around here someplace. Aha! There he is. He keeps calling in healers. go. Where is he? He's over there. Okay, let's get him. He 
Yeah. I wouldn't call it cheating. This is just preservation. All right. We need to take him out, and the best way to take him out is from the ground, so... There we go. Should be done in just a moment. Got him. And we get ourselves two walker brains out of this. There we go. Sentinel forces have been disabled. We want to get our two walker brains, so we're going to get this one. And take it out a second time. There we go. So that's our walker brain. We can now make a combat scanner for our ship. And while we're here, let's see what kind of weapon they have. So what is this? Not bad, not bad. Uh, weapons technology. An S-Class. How interesting. It's a pistol. It probably could be upgraded. Got a couple of nice things in here. I don't think we can take it, take it. But let me see. Yeah, we can only exchange it. We're already full. Let me just see what we have in our... Oh, wait a minute. Yep. Gotta get past all that. Uh, and I do want to take a quick look around and make sure that there isn't any of the barrels around that I have not picked up. There's one. And there. And I don't think there's any over here. I think we picked all the ones up over here. Yeah. Okay, so let's get those two barrels over there. And then we're going to check out our... Multi-tools. I don't know how we ended up with one over here. Okay, there we go. And we got a trader that landed. How interesting. Good timing, my friend. A pirate trader. What do you have for us today? Uh, let's see. Movement modules. Hyperdrive. Shields. Yep, that's it. Nah, not really interested. Not really interested. Okay, so we're in good shape. Another worm is coming through. Uh, nice of you to stop by. Uh, let's check out our multi-tools and see if there's one we want to get rid of. Cell. And neutron and cell. Let's sell that one. We'll trade it out. because I, That's why I marked it as such. That's how I do these things. And we're going to go ahead and extract. And we're going to go ahead and compare and exchange. So we'll get our nice S-class out of this. And uh, we'll take a look at it later. Okay, ignore that. I hit that by accident. Return. And two. All right, so let's take a look. So this is the multi-tool. So we got a couple of spots. I can go ahead and repair this. I have the abilities to do so. And we'll need other stuff to get all the rest of these repaired. So we have a nice supercharged slot there. We got one over here. Um, and upgrading it will reveal whatever it needs to be. So let's go back to our original multi-tool for the time being. And I believe that's this one. It says neutron probe. Did I put neutron cannon on it? No, I did not. So very odd. It's probably because it's called a neutron probe. That's probably why I did that. All right, moving on. So we got everything taken care of. I think that's the coolest thing right there is being able to take out these walkers. And then you got to get yourself a picture of it in front of it. Ground-based looking up. There we go. Now, for our ship, uh, we need to put a spot in here. I think this is a good spot as any. For a conflict scanner. We now have a walker brain, so we can now have that in there. Okay, good. So that's done. Uh, ship's on the overpass there. There we go. And in case you're wondering, you already saw the coordinates at the bottom left. 
And for the sake of coordinates as far as the planet's concerned, bottom left, negative 46.79, negative 178.54 is where you can find this tool if you're interested. All right, so we're done with that. Now, the next thing we need to do is find ourselves a freighter, derelict freighter. So let's do that next, and we're going to do that right now. And I'll show you a little trick. If you don't want to have to buy these uh, very expensive derelict freighter finders, if you will, when you get to this point and you find a ship, take this and put it into your refiner. It can't be done. You can't do anything with it. But you'll be able to use that later when you pull it back out and you're all done. There's our landing pad. Couple key points. Freighters inside of these things, these derelicts, are always cold. Having cold protection is very important. Secondly, having a good weapon is also very important. Neutron cannons are always best. So if you have one with a neutron cannon in it, it might be better for you. So let me see what I've got. Um, let's take a look at this. One of these should have a multi... Hmm, I haven't checked that one out yet. That's interesting. This is my original weapon, and that hasn't been done anything with either. How interesting. So I don't seem to have a neutron cannon. Let me see if this guy's got anything in it yet. Nope, not yet. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our original multi-tool, this one. I'm going to go in my ship, and I'm going to put a neutron cannon in it. Because I don't know what I'm running into over there. And I don't have any upgrades for neutron cannon, but it's still better than what I had. Um, I don't have a neutron cannon. Okay, we'll have to do it the hard way. Hard way it is. Okay. You can get oxygen and sodium in here by the bucketfuls. But you've got to make sure you can charge your... And these heating units are very important in these units to, to get you warmed back up in case you don't have a shield. All right, so we're going to take what's in this supply cabinet over here. We get all kinds of nice goodies out of it. See? Gives you a lot of good stuff. And if there's anything you don't want to keep in your inventory, you can move this over to your starship normally. I'm running out of room in here, so we're going to just make do with what we've got. Um, there really isn't anything I want to get rid of, but we will fill up these slots fast, I promise you. So, let's go ahead and move on. We're going to go ahead and take out this crater. So it says access denied. But because of this, we have to go inside and do a salvage and recovery, okay? So, access doors have been mag automatically sealed and internal systems disabled. We're going to restart inter internal driver gravity, and it'll tell us that there's an error. But we're going to restart hazard control. It'll tell us the same thing. Supply cache, yes, let's go ahead and collect it, which we just already did. And we're going to unseal the door. Now what happens is, is gravity is also very strong here. You have like magnetic boots, so you will not be able to fly. Keep that in mind. Now there's, all, there's a couple different types. You want to have your headlights on, by the way. Okay, so it's telling you to locate terminals and do those kind of things. So what you can do is you can do a scan... And it tells you what things are around. See, these are crates that you can open and get stuff out of. Okay? Anything in purple there. You also want to check out these logs that are on the tables here. You're going to see a lot of neat stuff. And the logs will get you give you information. Like Expedition Event Log Follows. It gives you a day stamp. Visited Trade Terminal. Found several use, unusual technology components on offer. Purchased anticipated profits 171%. Offer chance to invest in, in first GetNip distribution hub in, the, in this system. Uh, investment unsuccessful, losses moderate. See, so it gives you stuff. Technology components for faulty, cause fire and hold severe damage to internal systems, and we leave. But it gives us security credentials for a temporary officer and a Tuma's security pass. We will need that. Okay, and then these depressurized capsules, you can get stuff out of them, like living slime. The other things you can get oxygen and sodium from. Okay. Got this? There's sodium. Open up the cabinets and get goodies. 
We got a Viking dagger and some projectile ammunition, which we do need. There's always heaters throughout this whole thing, and you can turn these things on to warm you back up if you need to. All right, let's move on. Frigate module, that's very expensive and very handy. And this one gave us a neural duct, in case you're wondering about those. They're worth 150,000 or about uh, 50,000 each. See, we're already filling stuff up here. I suggest getting rid of the of some of the stuff that you don't need. I don't really need the Viking daggers, but I'll hold on to them for now. All right. There's multiple doors in here, so open up what doors you can. And this is a nice cavernous area. But before I go in there, I think there was another door over here. There is. Now I'm going to take a walk over here because that one looks like a much bigger area. Turn on the heating unit. And then recharge your cold right here. You can either use batteries, which it's going to take two, or some dioxide. I have plenty of dioxide, so I'll use that. And this is just a small area here. Okay, tainted metal is also a very good commodity to find. So this looks like just a personal room. Doesn't look like there's anything in it whatsoever, so really it was useless to us. We can check out the logs if you want. That'll give you more story behind the crew and what happened to them. Okay? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to proceed through. So here's the next area. So this area appears to be the non-bug infested ones, so that's good. I hate the bug infested ones personally, but this area will have most likely some other cabinets and stuff in it. So let's go ahead and take what we can. Projectile ammunition again. We're going to get those two more neural ducts. We can check out the log snippet, but it's not going to give us more information. Captain Eyes, recruit, and it's talking about their work levels and how well they'll do. You know, so interesting information. These little guys here will usually give you cash or tainted metal, one of the two. If it is done highlighting them, you want to go ahead and rescan. It just looks like we got a lot of cabinets in here we can check. I'm going to, again, I'm going to avoid the uh, snippets. More neural ducts. That's weird. I didn't get so many the last time I was here. More projectile ammunition. There's one up here. Larval cores. Okay, good. Good. You can get the unstable cabinets, but they don't usually give you much, except that they explode and they can injure you. Did I already get that one? Yeah, I did. Alright, so we got two doors, one on either side. Let's go through one of them. Alright, so this goes down. Before we do that, let's go through the other door. And see where this one goes. And you'll notice at the bottom right it says zone map 3 of 11. So we got 11 rooms to go through. Okay. More neural ducts. So that's kind of creepy, isn't it? Stuff floating around like that. Okay, good. So this is good. We're going to grab ourselves this. And there's really nothing else to do in here. You're going to get some credits or some other stuff, and that's about it. All right, let's head out. So we've checked out another room. That's four rooms now. Some of these are kind of creepy because you run into stuff that's floating around. Sometimes it's a helmet or a glove, which is even creepier. All right, now you can take the ladder down if you want. I usually just drop down and back away from the ladder because it makes it easier to get out. Again, I'm not seeing any of the bug nests, so this looks like it's not one of those freighters. we got a nice clean one here. I love that because I hate the bug freighters. Lots of stuff on this floor here. Okay, nip nip buds. Excellent. Viking effigy. Projectile. More tainted metal. Another cabinet. Descented bottles this time. Okay, another cabinet over here. The Viking effigy. You'll get a lot of those. Don't bother with those. And we've got another section down from here. Storm crystals. Very nice. We always use a little extra sodium, so I'll grab that. Got some oxygen out of the other one. Nothing over here. Okay, did we miss anything now? I'm pretty sure we came 
that way. Okay, good. And did we get that one yet? I don't know if we opened that one yet. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Projectile ammunition, more snippets to learn more of what's happening. Okay, let's see what's over here. So we got five rooms done. Let's see what room six holds. Ah, good. Nanites out of that one. Painted metal. Projectile ammunition. And more nanites. That's nice. These hold a lot of stuff. I think we came one of these directions here. Okay, great. I think we came from over there, didn't we? Yes, we did. So this is our way. Let's go down another level then. Okay. You can run, but you can't jump. Keep that in mind. Occasionally you'll see things floating in the air. Oh, I wasn't trying to do that. Let's get past it. Ooh, airway blockage. No further signs of life. Scavenge. Scavenge. Okay, we got those. You see there's a lot of stuff coming up here, which we'll head towards in a minute. All right. A lot of places in here. Another door. All right, so this is... Uh, Claw. Okay, good. So this is a terminal we're going to check out. Engine destruct codes encrypted. Biosecurity is encrypted. Accessible, so we can access the crew manifest. It's telling us the all the different crew members and what their last known location was. We update it. It's going to go scan again, and it's going to find no biological traces. And it's going to do it one more time. And how many days ago it was. So now we have a crew manifest, and that's a highly valuable item to get. So we don't want to take the, the terminal back unless we have to, the uh, transporter there. Alright, so let's stay over here. Let's gather up some more stuff. Okay. One over here. See, we already got inventory full. Let's take a look. I'm going to get rid of the dagger and the Viking effigies. I really don't need a pulse engine module. See, these neural ducts have really added up, haven't they? Isn't that neat? Okay, we got three spaces available. All right, so let's keep going. Should have emptied out my inventory, right? There we go, another photon cannon module, which we don't need, so we'll get rid of that. Okay. We've already opened up all those. Let's keep going this way. Another neural duct. Oh, another snippet. Sorry. Medical bays. This is another person who had bone weakness, apparently. Okay. Projectile ammunition. There we go. Painted metal. Edel course, nice. All right, let's see what our inventory looks like. We're gonna get rid of our Corvax casing. We don't need that. Okay. So I think that takes care of everything. Oh wait, did we get these yet? No. Ooh, multicolored silk. That's expensive stuff. Hundred and fifteen thousand usually. Okay. So there's our crew manifest. It looks like we may have to start getting rid of something, like for instance this. We don't need that. Alright. And we don't really need the Mordite either. Let's get rid of the Mordite. Alright, so now we've freed up three extra spots in our inventory. I really didn't expect to find this much on the ship. So we found a good amount of stuff here. We've only done seven rooms. We've still got four to go. Oh, I didn't get those yet. More neural ducts. Okay, what do we got? Okay, good. We're still doing good. Just checking. Alright. So now where's our rooms at? There's a room there. Let's check that out. Okay. 
More hadal cores. Neural ducts. Unstable plasma. Finally, units. About time, right? More units. Okay. Good. Okay. There we go. All right. Looks like we got another units over here. Yep, we didn't get that one yet. Excellent. All right. Another doorway over here. So we've got eight rooms done. This is nine. Now, do we have another room back there before we go through this room? Did we have another room back here that we missed? Thought we did. Thought there was a room over here somewhere. That's not a room over there, is there? No, there's no room in there. Okay. Yep, there was a room over here. I missed this. Okay, yeah, storage room. All right, good. More credits. More tainted metal. All right, good. How's our inventory look? Still looking kind of full. We only got two spots left. But yeah, we got the last room. So let me go over to this room again. You know, she can't run really fast. But you can run, sort of. All right. Off we go. Another storm crystal. Another storm crystal. Nice. Rare item. 2,000 years old. That's valuable. 1.7 million. We just made uh, a good amount of money. Oh, we have nothing to put this in. That's interesting. One more spot left. Okay, so this is going to give us a manifest, and we need to activate the terminal. Private mainframe, captain's DNA. But we know that the captain's dead, so we're going to tell him it's deceased. Exterminated. Duty officer may take command. So I'm going to log in as temporary officer Anatuma. Accepted. Read the captain's log. We were promised battle, we were promised vengeance, but all we found were quivering survivors, heretics all. Gra, what sport can there be in such an act? Another skirmish, still machines follow. Gra, how I wish I could fight with their strength, their might. Herc, preserve us. We have obtained a working sentinel vessel. Its core systems damaged, its weaponry intact. Gah, no more will we run and hide from mere machines. Ordered the crew to integrate our discovery into our freighter's components. Sentinels have leave us alone now. They even aid us as if we were one of their own. I must tell the fleet of this discovery. I must tell them of our victory. Yep, was it a victory? So there's the captain's log. So now the only place we have left is the um, last room, if you will. And we are actually full in our inventory, aren't we? Yes. Where is the captain's... That's odd. We didn't get it in our inventory. Hang on a second here. Interesting. Okay. Okay, more credits. Projectile ammunition, a little sodium. Larval core. Projectile. Go over here. Nope. Oh, almost got me that time, didn't you? Neural duct again. More projectiles. So we're running out of space here. Got tainted metal. Let's see what else we can get rid of here. Hadal cores are worth quite a bit. These descented bottles are worth nothing. I am going to get rid of them. So we'll hold off on that. Okay. Is there anything else I haven't gotten yet? Tainted metal. Looks like I already opened that one up. 
and that one. There's a couple over there. Have I not opened these yet? No. New building. A secure briefcase. Congratulations. We got a DNA. Th uh, that would be called blueprint. Okay. All right. We still got room. Okay, I think we got everything here. Yep, looks like we got everything out of this room. I think. Did we get that? Yeah, we did get that one. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead. We got one more room to go. It's all the way over here. And we're going to go down a level. A lot of levels we just went down. And usually we see something green floating around in here, but I don't see it today. Okay. More credits. Last couple of canisters. Last snippets. Okay, we're going to get rid of the Corvax casing. We really don't need that. More descented bottles that are worthless to us. And another briefcase. Okay, and I think that's it. So we leave that one space open for the last item we can get, and that's from the engineering console. Construct components. Now we can get technology update, a freighter bulkhead, or nanites. Now the technology upgrade I'm going to ignore because I can get that anywhere, but the freighter bulkheads are worth a lot because it's hard to come by those. Okay, and there it is. Cargo bulkhead. That's for your freighter when you do get one. So we see I'm out of inventory space finally but that's okay let's take the teleporter and we're back to the emergency airlock and we're back to the air let's try this again all right we're out finally all right so now we can go back to our ship and we are complete and this ship is done um thought we were exiting the ship yeah, I went the wrong way. Okay. And we should pick up right after this doorway. There we go. And on to our ship. Excellent. And while we're here, since our ship is obviously not as full as we are, let's get rid of the things we need to get rid of. Um, we're going to hang on to that and that. We're going to open them up later. Let me get rid of the quad. Uh, let's see, the cargo bulkhead we're keeping, as well as the salvage frigate module. And the rest of this stuff we're going to end up selling. I think we'll keep the pugnium as well. But Hadal cores and all this other stuff, we got some batteries, that's nice, I'm going to hang on to that. Storm crystals, Do our, does our starship have any? No, we don't need them, really. We'll go ahead and sell them. I'll, 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 we, need, we could use money, it's 112 million is what we got. We're going to get rid of the tainted metal, we'll hang on to that, because... That's handy to have later on. All right. I think we got everything we can sell. It looks pretty good. Let's get out of here. All right. So we want to head to the space station. That's where we want to go. It'll tell us where that is in a moment. I see if you follow the uh, icon. There it is. And you could be attacked on the way, but not usually. Just means that pirates might attack you and try to take your stuff from you. Now that you're done, go into your... There it is, your personal refiner, and you can pull this out. And it will turn back into a regular one. See, right now it says it's activated, right? Active, it says on the right. Get out of your inventory, and if you go back in, you're going to find out that it's still active. So let's put it back in there for now must be after we get to the station. And there we go. There. Let me flip over because we're upside down to the station. Alright, good deal. We're in good shape. 
So what we might do, we may call this episode complete. So while I thought this was going to be that we're finding a pirate dreadnought, turns out we decided to go ahead and do the freighter, derelict freighter mission instead. And now that we're here and we have a restore point, we can pull it out again. Let me just do that real quick. And you see it's no longer active, but you still have it. And you can use it again later, anytime you want. All right, let's go ahead and sell the Hadel Core. That's weird. Why didn't it sell all of them? We keep the repair kits. The larval cores we'll go ahead and get rid of, even though we could turn them into nanites. We're going to go ahead and get rid of them. Well, maybe we'll turn them into nanites. They're worth quite a bit, but I'd rather turn them into nanites. The nip nip buds, we're going to go ahead and sell those. The oozing flowers, we're getting a 1.3%, so we'll go ahead and sell those and get a profit out of that. There's the multicolored silk, 119,000. And don't sell the captain's log. You see, you don't get much for it, right? You'll get more from someone else. Uh, let's see. The storm crystals we're going to go ahead and get rid of at 1.2 million. Neural ducks we're taking a hit on, as you can see. 13.4%, but they're worth quite a bit. What we want to do is we want to go to a regular system if we can and sell the stuff there. Because we'll get more money for it. And that's where our black market guy is located anyway. All right, let's just pick a system right close by. There's one right there. Yeah, that'll be fine, even though it's a dissonant system and all that. And we'll show you what you can do with that tainted metal as well. The tainted metal you can sell. Uh, not sell, but you use it as a... As a uh, as a monetary value. It's money in its own right. Kind of like credits and nanites and quicksilver. Tainted metal is a, is a fourth... type of money that you can have. But you gotta be careful of the illegal stuff that you may have on board your ship. So it even says there, offload the crew manifest, find interested buyers on the space station. Now, if you sell it in the system, for instance, uh, if this is a Viking system, and I sell it to the guild envoy on the right-hand side there, actually, it looks like you can do that here anyway, you will get um, positive reputation from the guild envoy. Okay, scrap dealer, and he will purchase them as well. See? So you sell the crew manifest, you'll get some tainted metal from it. Let's see how much. 132, pretty good. If we sell the captain one, captain's log, you get a lot more. Let's see how much we got. Uh, which I believe I put in my starship. 616 now, so we got a couple, we got a couple hundred for that one. Okay, never ask them what they're selling. Just purchase. And you see you can get suspicious packets of tech, goods, and arms. And all these other things, like uh, these arms postures. I've already done that on other saves, and you can get them here as well. So, you get banners, decals, things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with arms and tech, because you can usually get some good stuff. I can't buy all of them, I can only buy one. So I'm going to get this one here and see what we got. And you get, go back to my sh suit here. There it is right there. And in this case, it gave us a, a suspicious photon cannon armament. We're at 384 nanites. So not bad. I never did sell the neural ducts. Let's see what they'll sell for here, shall we? Or actually, we can check a pilot if pilots landed. They have. There's one right there. Hey, buddy. And if you sell them to the pilots, you don't you don't affect the economy of the system that you're in. So keep that in mind. Do, do, do. Let's see where they are. Uh, we don't want to sell the Walker Brain. I want to hang on to that. There it is, Neural Ducks. See, we're still taking a hit on it no matter where we go. So let's go ahead and sell it. 
I'll keep the plasma in case we need it later on. And we'll do something with the salvage glass here in just a minute. All right, so we have sold off some of the stuff that we have. Let me move over here. And let's open these up. Okay, so what do we end up with? Looks like we got Sentinel Weapon Shards. But that's the Photon Cannon we just got. We must have other stuff over here. Yeah, we got four of these now. So we can sell them for other stuff. And we got all the other things we need in this inventory over here. So we're doing pretty good is what it is. So let me move the brain over. Got one of those. Got one of those. And I'd like to hang on to these now because I need them later on. Okay. So, and if we do the weapon shards, we can put them in our multi-tool. We've already got three in here that are in pretty good shape. Two at least. So if we go in here and we do the weapon shard, we can put it in here and compare it to the ones we've got. Plus three fire rate, minus ten, and plus one. Yeah, see, the 14 fire rate is much better, though. Okay, so we'll go ahead and delete that one and get parts from it. Okay, good. So we'll be using that stuff later. That guy's about to take off. There he goes. All right, so good deal. So in our next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to look for that pirate dreadnought and get myself a freighter for once, for crying out loud. And that's what we're going to do in the next episode. So we have shown you the derelict freighters and how you can move around with those. Though so we didn't get a buggy one. The ones with the bugs in them, whoosh, those things are annoying and very scary. But we'll do that another time. So I want to say thank you for watching. Please hit the like and hit the subscribe button if you can. If you like what you've been seeing, hundreds of videos I've been doing. And we'll see you all in the next video or in a speed run or an expedition. Take care of everybody and have a great and awesome day.